It is day three of the count up. We are making our way to day 31 and then we're going cruising on the Carnival Breeze. This series is super cool because it serves two purposes. It gives us a way to count up to our next cruise and it gives you guys 31 cruise tips in a row. Plus all the tips that you guys are leaving in the comments. Before we even get into the video, I just want to say the first two days of comments have been jam packed with cruise tips. Make sure you read the comments. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to keep your devices powered when you're at sea. Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you like cruise ships, cruise tips, cruise news, cruise vlogs, really anything to do with cruising, La Lita Loca is the spot for you. Hit the subscribe button with the little notification bell. It's right next to it. Go ahead and hit that. That way you'll get notified when all of our new content comes out. Now on to today's tip. I know that not everybody's like me. You don't need a million ways to charge your devices. You don't have four or five cameras, two cell phones, iPads, all that. But there are some power needs when it comes to charging. The cruise lines have been doing a lot lately, adding USB ports, a few more outlets here and there. But sometimes you really need some additional power when you're on the cruise, and that's just in your cabin. I've got a tip for you today that also talks about what to do when you're not in your cabin. With that said, I'm gonna give you two tips, one to help you with power in your cabin, and one to help you when you're out and about. Tip number one, here it comes. Probably my most essential purchase for cruising in the last year is this. It is this key six port USB charger. This has one regular plug that goes into a standard plug and it allows you to charge six USB devices at a time. Now I did have to make some adjustments for this to be a great solution for me. Not every camera battery comes with a USB charger. A lot of times it comes with a wall charger. So I did make an investment in some chargers that I could charge my batteries via USB. None of them were really expensive. For every camera that I have, I have a USB charger and then I can plug them all into this and only use one outlet on the cruise ship. This helps us in the room uh, immensely. We can get our phones charged, we can get all of our batteries charged, and we can do it off of one outlet without too much hassle. This is what we use. This is our primary thing that we use for charging when we are in the cruise cabin. But that's all well and good if you are in the cruise cabin, but what if you're at port on an excursion? What if you spend all day on the Lido deck and you're taking pictures and using your phone for video and all of a sudden your phone is dead? Well, this is the solution, maybe my second favorite thing that I purchased recently. It is a very nondescript looking battery that happens to be powered by solar. So this is a solar paneled USB backup battery. It's waterproof and it has two USB ports that you can use to charge your devices. The cool thing about this is when you're charging by plugging into one of these ports, if you're doing it outside in the sun, you can open up the solar panels and continue to charge your battery while you are pulling charge off of it. A lot of times I'll take batteries out to port and I'll worry that you know I'm gonna run out of power. The cool thing about this is that it charges while you're charging if you do it in sunlight. The other cool thing is it has a, a light here, an LED light. This is the main way I get power when I'm out and about on the ship or when I'm out at port. If you're interested in either one of these, I will leave a link below to Amazon where I got both of these products and the link below is an affiliate link. So if you use it, not only do you get some cool gear, but you help us out. So uh, check out the link in the description if you are interested. Question for the comments, what are your power tips? What do you do to make sure that all your gear is charged? Leave a comment below. We are running a giveaway contest. Each day we will pick one of the comments. We will pin it to the top of the comment section so you can go back and see who's pinned. And at the end of the 31 day series, we will draw from those 31 pinned comments and give them a prize pack that we gather up when we are on our cruise. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out all of our social media. Don't forget to like like and subscribe. This is Tony from La Lita Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.